Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. The Owls have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus, patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. See how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25. Sparks is a guy that you really have the game plan for if you're a defensive coach, Irby. And we talked to those guys this week, and, and he gives them nightmares. Yeah, I think he does. I think they're concerned about his big playability. I think you're really going to have to see this defense commit numbers to the line of scrimmage, put an eighth, sometimes even a ninth guy up close to the line of scrimmage. And by slowing him down, that can give yourself a chance to be able to slow down this offense. The Owls always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Nice run, and he's brought down. Some guys are dangerous no matter where they are on the field. Whether they have speed, elusiveness, great vision, whatever the case may be, you have to find ways to get the ball in their hands. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. Sparks gains around two yards there on the option. This freshman does a good job of reading and reacting to the play from his spot in the secondary, and he makes a good tackle. made the 37. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. Fountain awaits the snap. Gets to about the 37-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out out of the field for the first drive of the game. Three down, three down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Set. 10 seconds. He's on the run. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And down he goes at the 31. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. First and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. Fakes to the back. Gets it. He's in space. Brought down at the 18. It's a great play fake here, and it freezes the linebacker for just a couple of seconds. And that's enough time to connect on the throw. Feeds it to the back. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. From the 17 yard line. Second down. He's scrambling. The 10. And he's tackled at about the seven yard line. That makes it first and goal. Around the seven yard line. No game. That brings up second and goal. Got double tight. 
It's second and goal. Ball on the seven. Scrambling around. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Oh, that's a great job with some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight. And it's tough to maneuver. And he adds the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Golden Hurricane and the Owls square off in the battle for the Williams Trophy. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. And for Stokes, he finished the day with a pair of touchdown catches. The Golden Hurricane finish on top, 27-24. Elsewhere, Auburn and Georgia do battle in the Deep South's oldest rivalry. And for Georgia, they're struggling to take control of this game. Auburn leads it 13-7. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Caldwell has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Lowry fields it at the two. Gets to about the 24-yard line. One team forced to punt, Herbie, and the other one comes right back and gets some points. Well, Brad, this is exactly how you draw it up. You come up with a big stop to start the game off. Your offense moves down, gets, this, gets points on the board. Can't start much better than this. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. Riggs makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Here we go! Jack, Jack. Patriot! Patriot! Looks left. Picked off. Inside the 30. There he goes. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. And that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. And down he goes at the 22-yard line. Well, Kirk, they say if you don't let the other team score, you're going to win. You can't lose. That's what's going on so far. Well, this defense is bending a bit, but they're not breaking. They're off to a great start, keeping their offense and this team in a position to be able to win this game. Let's see if they can maintain it. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. Taken down at the 25-yard line. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Briggs is the deep man awaiting the return. And he has it on the corner. And he shoved out of bounds at the 44. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And he is drilled at the 36. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They hand it off again. They'll bring him down at the 21.
from the 21 yard line. It's first down. Inside the 10, and they're in. Touchdown. Very impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 22. I know it's early in this ballgame, Herbie, but if I'm the offensive coordinator, I'm getting a little bit nervous here. Well, it is early, but when they tried to run the ball, that's not working. They tried to throw. They're, they're getting uh, dismantled up front. I really think he's looking down at his play sheet wondering what to call next. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. He passes it. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. There's a strike complete. And he hits him hard at the 35-yard line. Call it a gain of 22 yards. That makes it first and 10. Throws this one out to the left. And he snags that one. And he's taken down at about the 11. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 11-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. Quick out to his receiver, and it pays off. Touchdown. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 78-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So our score, 21-7. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 43. From their own 43-yard line. First down. The pitch, and he's got some room. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. The 10. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. Oh, my. That one. Oh, I'll tell you what, this kid is incredible. He's got the moves, the speed, the power. He's the total package. And he tacks on the extra point. Well, is lined up to kick this one off.
McLeod from the two. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Slings it. Tackle made around the 33-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. Third down. And he can't get away from the pressure. Cardinal loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Fountain is the putter. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Well, we've seen a lot of offense in this one, but it could swing right back the other way. Well, this is college football where momentum can always go one way or another. They're off to a great start, but they'll have to continue to play well because this team on the other side of the football, they're coming, trying to come up with some adjustments of their own to try to get their offense up on the board. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Throws it to the outside. And he's got the junior. He's knocked out of bounds at the 38. From the 38-yard line, first down. Run left side. Makes it out to about the 26. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. It's second and 11. Ball on the 27. Two down, two down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Yeah. 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 And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll bring up 36. Lead and pushed out of bounds behind the line. Loss of two yards on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up and it's long enough. And it's good!
Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And here's a quick throw. What a pick! Out of bounds around the 35-yard line. The defense here comes up with a huge interception. They've already got the lead, and it looked like this offense was trying to get back in the game, but that was a big turnover. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 18. That's a game of 17. That makes it first and 10. Six yards on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Makes it to the 12 yard line. Nowhere to go on a delay. Once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. This young man is no stranger to the end zone. That's two rushing scores for him on the day, and you have to love the way he's been running the ball all game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Caldwell has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Sparks' struggles here in the first half seem to have also impacted the entire team, and you would expect that, I guess, Herbie. They're really having a difficult time getting anything going now as we head into halftime. I mean, you hate to put everything on one guy and just put all the pressure on his shoulders, but in this case, it's clear to me that without him leading the way, that this football team is just lost. And I think the coaching staff has got to be concerned. There's still a whole other second half to be played. But what kind of adjustments can they make to be able to make some changes here to the results here of this football game in the second half? Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And down he goes, right around the 50. Briggs on the tackle at the 50-yard line. That brings up second and one. Tackle at the 45. Williams brings him down at the 45-yard line. First down. Ball, the ball, the ball, the ball. The 45 yard line. It's second down. And he's tackled to the 38 yard line. Gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. to that quick and it's going the other way he has some room
He scores. What a play. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. And for a win, it's been a night of struggle. He's made a lot of mistakes up to this point. But you know what? He's got a track record. And, and I think I believe personally in watching him that he has the ability to turn this game around and to finally get into his rhythm and get this offense going. This is such a tough situation to be in, too. Trying to overcome so much on the road, including a confidence-shaking performance. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. It's tough on the losing sideline in a game like this. Your offense and your defense are both misfiring, and the other team is taking advantage of it. Coach and oftentimes find out what their players are made out of in games like this. That makes it first and ten. And they push him out around the 36-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 46. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. He's going to air it long. And he was that close to turning that into a big play. First down. Fires out to his wideout. The five. He's pushed out of bounds. Just outside the goal line. Gain of 19 yards. That makes it first and goal. And he throws it away. From the one yard line. It's second down. Here we go. Touchdown. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. And he converts the extra point. Burgess, ready to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Now they practiced all week this week, and they told us yesterday, Brad, that they felt pretty good about what they put in, the plan that they had. And I think now that you see them playing today, it's no wonder they felt so good. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Fires out to his receiver, and he shoved out of bounds at the 32-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Four yards on the play. That makes it third and seven. Five wide. Got it and brought down immediately. 
There's nothing better for a defense's mindset than to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. McLeod fields it at the 24. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. Returns for a gain of 11 yards. So the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. And he's taken down at the 43. He brings him down at the 43-yard line. That makes it second and two. And he just gets rid of it. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And now he pitches it. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. The defense calls a timeout. Sparks comes away with two yards on the carry. Briggs is back awaiting the punt. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Big first half lead here. Well, they've done a nice job here in the first half, and they've been able to build up a big lead. But remember, it's a four-quarter game. Make the adjustments at halftime. Continue to try to fight this defense to get more points. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He gets sacked on the play. Call it a loss of six yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers from their own 21 yard line third down the owls use their second timeout three yard gain by the running back rouse is waiting for the snap He really got a hold of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. The Owls had the right game plan, I think, because this is what they do so well. The problem is the defense knew that, and they're playing better right now. I think you have to give the defense all the credit in the world here in the first half. I mean, you know, granted, they're giving up some yards to this running back. He's, he's making some plays. But for the most part, they're keeping this offense out of the end zone. And uh, we'll find out. It's still a long way to go in this football game. But up to this point, this defense has held this offense for the most part in check. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 43. And he's going to come up with a sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Third and long now after the sack. Wants to go long and done. And it's going the other way. It's the senior corner. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line.
first half comes to an end, and we were not expecting this. 45-14. Lopsided ball game as we're just about set to start the second half. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at about the 45. the 34 yard line first down he'll keep it on the ground again he gets hit out of bounds around the 29 yard line that brings up second and five Reset, cut right. watch 36 pitches back he tackles him for a loss by the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Lock down at the 24 yard line. quarterback in the gun with five receivers got his receiver dropped it incomplete sure he intended receiver on the play that makes it second and ten so it's second and ten ball on the 24 they'll line up with five wide receivers wideout makes the first down catch We're at play number nine of this current drive. Runs right for a nice game. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. for the corner. He's in. Another touchdown. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Auburn and Georgia square off in the Deep South, the oldest rivalry. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Georgia, once again, this game just goes to show you never take anything for granted in college football. Joyner's knack for hitting the hole has been most beneficial as he's found the end zone. The Tigers lead 30 to 14. Reese, this one was never close, and it's not going to get close. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Carter on the tackle at the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. He gets rid of this one. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Wynn fakes the handoff. Going deep. Picked off. It's the ball hawking senior. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. Brad, I'm all for continuing to fight, continuing to try to compete. But another interception, another miscue for this team, they're already getting blown out. They've got no chance to get back in the game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 49. Tackle at the 43-yard line. That makes it second and two. Throwing right. Found his man. They get in. Touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary, but the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick two-play, 51-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And he has it on the corner. Ball is loose. Fumble. The Owls have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Here. Uh, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. Loss of six on the play. That'll make it second and one. And he's tackled around the 17-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That yeah, brings us third and 14. Completion won't even be close to the sticks, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Well, they'll give them the short yards in that situation, just as long as they keep them from getting a first down. Fountain to punt. Booming kick. And he's taken down at the 41. The Owls have simply rocked the college football world with an astounding effort in this one. This is one of the biggest upsets I think we've seen all year. You know what's great? They didn't worry about any of the outside distractions. They just kind of locked in to themselves and their coaches getting ready for this football game, and it's really paid off for them. Down. Down. Holds it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Smith brings him down at the 44-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Tries 
to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Gets him up and field to the 20. He scores. What a play. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Bulldogs were ranked number two. After that performance, how far will they fall? There is no room to take anything for granted in college football. When you do, it bites you right in the keister. Auburn performs well enough to win it by 16. You can feel the shock waves around this stadium. People can't believe that score. Burgess has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Takes the counter left. He's gobbled up in the backfield. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Decides to slide. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. Gives it off. Runs outside for a nice game. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 37. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. That brings up second and nine. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They'll line it up again on third down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Here's the halfback with a first down grab. And he's tackled in the open field. Runs it and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. We head to the fourth quarter and we didn't see this coming. 59 21. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. Hopefully the fourth quarter will turn things around. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Yeah, blue 78. Blue 78. Under pressure. And they got him. Love and aggressive mentality from a defense. They brought the safety on the blitz and he was able to get through there and get all the way to the quarterback for a big loss. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. They come out in a five-wide set. He wants it all going long. What a pick. Breaks one. Wait a second. Who, who's calling the plays here? You've got a huge lead, and you're still throwing the football into coverage? 
What are you doing trying to let the guy get back into the game? From their own 29-yard line, it's first down. He steps out at about the 31. Tackle made the 33 yard line. Gain of two on the too easy, too easy. That'll bring up third and six. Fumble. Offense falls on him. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. to receive Briggs takes it at the 33 he's tackled the 39 yard line the Owls have really struggled trying to slow down this offense today how about this offense I don't think anybody could have seen them coming into this game executing against one of the best defenses in the country the offense comes out to start this drive and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Gets it out quickly. And he is drilled at the 49. First, down. First and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Make the stop around the 50 yard line. Gain of one on the play. That makes it second and ten. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. Number 24 on the tackle at the 41-yard line. Fourth down. Rouse. Awaits the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Owls have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here. But that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Caught with room to work. And they push him out at the 30-yard line. Gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and in inches. Check four, check four. I'm here all day. Gets it. He's in space. He's at midfield. He's tackled at about the 41. Number 14 on the tackle at the 41 yard line. Get First out, down. Get out, get out. Brought down around the 33 yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at the 28. Gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. Key eight. Key eight. I got 
Fires quick. He's got another one. And down he goes. Right around the 20. Number 14 on the tackle at the 20-yard line. That brings up second and one. Caught open field, and that sets right, them up for the first and goal. Number 14 on the tackle at the nine yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Less than three minutes in the game. He's hit and taken down. Dickerson brings him down at the seven yard line. That brings up second and goal. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Held a loss of 10 yards. That makes it 30 goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Let's it fly, and it falls incomplete. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll make it third and one. Under a minute left. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. 